Well, keeping with our children, are kids being impacted by the effects of drugs is a real thing. Joining us today is South Dade One Voice Community Coalition's Youth Coalition Chairperson, Joy Turner, to share what parents can do to help their children stay drug free. Joy, welcome. Thank you for having me. Joy, what's the role of the Youth Coalition and what are the goals? So the role of the Youth Coalition is to educate teens about the dangers of substances. So we focus on things like vaping, alcohol, marijuana, um, and just other th other substances that might be found in the community. It's important. I remember growing up, we had D.A.R.E., which was ubiquitous. It was everywhere. And I feel that now with younger generations, we're not seeing that type of promotion of keeping kids off of drugs the way we used to. So I'm glad that you guys are doing this work. For yourself, how did you get involved and what is your role as youth chairperson? I volunteered with the South Dade One Voice Community Coalition, which is basically the adult version of my coalition. Um, and after volunteering with them for a few events and going um, <clears throat> into the community with them, they invited me to become their youth chair. And so my role as youth chair is to advocate for youth and basically provide a safe space for them them to share their experiences and ask any questions that they might have. Joy, why are you so passionate about this work? As youth, we often see um, substances in our community and we often hear people say, oh, don't do drugs and don't do this specific substance, but we don't exactly know what that means. We don't know the dangers and the consequences that can happen if we, for, for example, take a sip of alcohol is it bad will it kill us what what exactly is going to happen oh it's super important because yeah as you just said you make a really good point you can be told not to do something but when you educate people on the why yeah. and the reason to not do something i feel like that message is received a lot better than just giving a directive hey don't drink and drive mm -hmm. right but what can happen if you do drink and drive what can parents do joy to prevent their children from using drugs I would say create a safe space for them to come to you as as someone that is just learning about substances. So if they have a question, you know, let them know. If you have questions, you can come to me. I'm going to answer them. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to dismiss you or invalidate whatever questions that you have. What message would you give to kids other than telling them to say no and that drugs are bad for them? I would say to think about your future. You know, substances don't only affect you. They can affect your friends. They can affect your family, even strangers that you don't know. Um, so think about how these things that you're trying or experimenting with affect you and the people that are around you. That's a great point, Joy. Well said, well said. Where can we go to find out more about the coalition? Yes, you can go to www.ovccsd.org and find out all of our information there. Joy Turner, thank you for the work that you're doing. You are immensely valuable and the kids and our, and our newer generations will forever benefit. Thank you so much. Thank you.